it's called the Sirius Pintuition uh, device, marketed by Sirius Medical. Um, this has been born out of a startup um, from the Netherlands um, and has just transitioned into clinical practice first in Holland um, and I think late 2020 um, and here at the Marsden, we're the first in the UK uh, to start trialing it uh, internationally. Um, and it is a localizer device. So it inserts a small metal seed into the impalpable breast tumor to help the breast surgeon find it on the day of, so or, or, during the operation. Um, the way it works is it's a, the, the actual metal seed is a, is a small magnet in itself. And the technology is that the um, probe-based device is a magnet detector, um, a bit like a metal detector, but actually a magnet detector. And because it is specifically a magnet detector, they're able to make the collimator to work out distance is very precise. Uh, so one of the key advantages of this device compared to some of the other devices on the market, of which there are a few, um, is that it does tell you within millimeters exactly how uh, close you're getting to your, um, to your seed. And therefore, if your seed's right in the middle of the tumor, which is the intention, then hopefully distance to, your, to, to the tumor. It gives sort of audio feedback and visual feedback. So it shows you distance in millimeters and um, um, you can hear that as well uh, with a change in pitch of the sound. Um, there are some other devices on the market that we've also been using um, in um, the Royal Marsden. So I'd say this is more of an incremental um, change. From about the last five years, we've transitioned from the use of wires, which is a small sort of wire with a little barb on it that was placed by the radiologist normally on the day of surgery into the lesion to transitioning to these sort of seed-based devices. And so you can have a um, metal detector system with a small metal chip where essentially you're temporarily magnetizing the metal and, and detecting that. Or you can have this system, which is the magnet in itself in a magnet detector. There are other systems that put in a radio frequency ID um, device, um, which can be detected, or an, another system using a, a sonar device. Also in the last sort of decade, people have tried using radioisotope um, little seeds, um, but that has some of the complexity about using nuclear medicine. So it's, I think these newer devices that don't use nuclear medicine, but still have a seed-based concept to the ones that are really starting to win out at the moment. And so our job um, here at the Marsden doing this trial is really to evaluate it in our hands. So we know there's some safety uh, being shown in the Netherlands, but we want to make sure that it's safe and effective in our hands. Um, and if it is, uh, then we'd want to start evaluating it uh, more nationally. Uh, so this initial trial we're doing together with uh, two other hospitals. We're doing it with Imperial College and with um, Liverpool as well. Helen, um, uh, St. Helens in Liverpool. We've been, um, as, a, as I previously mentioned, the first in the UK to start trialing um, this particular device. And so we've done it in um, just over um, single digits, I'd say, um, so far in our hospital. We found it so far to be very effective. We've been able to localise our tumours well. Um, the tumours have been excised successfully um, with low margin positivity rate that's that's the rate that when you take out your specimen and you analyze it in the laboratory we always look to see have we excised the tumor cleanly or does it uh, encroach upon the edge of the tumor and so far these rates are within or lower than the national guidance so um, so far um, it seems safe and effective uh, in our hands